hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to be guiding you on how to fix your phone if it is showing if it is not connecting to um all spots probably is the wi-fi is not showing maybe display as you can see on the screen maybe it is displaying something like this let me off my if it is displaying something wi-fi turned off and maybe when you are clicking it it is not functioning like this so what you have to do is First, in this kind of situation, we have to we have to come to this type section, and we are going to type command prompt. So we have to click on this command prompt. So after clicking on this command prompt, the next thing you are going to do is press ping p i n g put space one two seven point one point one then press enter this particular test is to show if the system hardware is functional so so far you have seen zero percent loss then the hardware is not having issue but if you are seeing zero percent loss then definitely you have to take your system to a technician to help you to fix some work 40 connections but if yours is showing this definitely this video is for you so if yours is showing this the next thing you have to do is click on cancel then after clicking on cancel you have to come to um what's it called we type control panel yeah so type a control panel here yeah. so we have to click on the control panel see this particular place in this control panel is showing many things there may be confusion in your own system if you are using windows 10 maybe windows 11 you might not, yours might not be displaying like this but to remove the stress what you have to do is Click on this search option and click on internet internet option so after clicking on internet option it's going to show internet option you definitely will see it there but click on change temporary internet file settings so after clicking on that the next thing is do is to come to this advanced section you don't have to check anything there just click on restore advanced settings after clicking on it if your system is having some issue if you click on restore advanced setting and click on apply it won't direct you back it will just stay here so let's see this one now it's not directing me back and you are going to after clicking on apply you're going to click ok so after doing this cancel everything reset your system and after resetting it come here to this section if it's not working for you then the next step you are going to do is to come to this section make sure your cap locks is in capital letter then press your window key with our key window key plus our key together so after pressing it together it will display let me back it to display i guess my caps key is having an error I'm sorry. So all you have to do is press your window key and your our key together. So it's going to direct you to this place. My system is outdated, that's why it is or uh, kind of stressful to click on that so you have to press a particular prompt here which is service you can see something like this service services.ms yours might not be showing it just type services.ms so i'll be clicking on mine and i'm going to click on ok so in this particular place you want to look for the ruler uh, configuration as you can see here everything here is arranged alphabetically so what you have to do is to scroll down to where we are going to find w so when we find w we are going to try to check the aspect of one or uh, the one the land auto configuration it is running if it is running click on it and right click then go to properties so after clicking on properties this startup time startup type click on automatic press apply 
you see something changed there then click on ok so after you've done that you back it again reset your system again definitely if you reset your system and it's still not showing wi-fi calm down you are going to find every solution here because this is all the solution you need if every solution in this video is not working for you definitely your system might be having an issue but it will definitely work so far you found the first step there and it is showing zero percent loss so after you reset it if it is still showing same thing so come here come to settings let's type settings so after clicking on settings you are going to come to uh, network and internet so this network and internet come to wi-fi yours might be off click on enable enable it and check if your network is still not showing then the next step you have to reset it again so after you reset it try to observe for like 10 or 5 minutes if the stuff is not actually picking up again then the next step again is to press windows the windows key and the out key together again so we want to be sure sorry so the windows and the out key is our next solution in this kind of situation because we want to know what's definitely wrong so sorry my system can be kind of like that at times so we press the windows and the out key together so cl clean that mx stuff that is showing so the next thing here we are going to type is okay my caps lock is in capital letter let me change it back to small letter so the next thing we are going to do now is to type d e v m g m t dot m s c then click on ok this is where we want to go to the normal internet configuration here so the next thing we are going to find here is look for is network adapter see there's something immediately you come to this network adapter and you can vividly see it here like something here maybe this thing showing um something should be showing 802 okay this one 802.1 if it is showing from this particular desktop image if it is showing something like cancel then that is where the issue is coming from so what you have to do is click on it right click on it sometimes you can first disable it and after disabling it you will enable it back then reset your system that will it might work you understand but if it is not working after you do that you disable it and you enable it and you now reset your system if it is not working then the only solution here is to uninstall device don't be scared when you uninstall it you are going to reset your system so when you reset it immediately the system will start up again automatically the windows will install back this qualcomm atrium which is the wi-fi adapter so automatically any error coming from your configuration it will be fixed that is the permanent solution it will be fixed instantly so immediately you do that you uninstall it and you back it here then you reset your stuff the wi-fi will be working that one is 100 percent sure i'm sure of that we've used that to solve many other people's issue so after that after you've uh, uninstall it you reset your device so you have to come to settings definitely it will be showing but if yours is not showing you have to come to settings again so when you come to settings we are going to network and internet again so when we enter the network and internet again we are going to network reset understand so this network reset we are going to click on here so you can see something here this one is showing wi-fi not connected there is no error here because it is because the wi-fi is not connected but if yours is not showing signal maybe everything is just cancelled everything just click here and 
click on connect or disconnect that's all or go to properties then you are going to fix the understand just click on okay and everything should be back to normal so let us go back to our network reset so let me go back again so here we are going to see advanced network for the network connection everything so network reset should be around there so connection settings so you have to click it so after you click on the reset it will work your wi-fi will automatically be connected so it will work and if that is the case again that your, your connection is still not working so the next thing you have to do is come back again and click on come back again and press control panel so pressing control panel just right click on it so so the control panel should give us okay let's back it here let's click on cmd so let's click on after clicking on the cmd type in it here you can see here so you are going to click run as administrator so you are going to click on yes so here please take note of what i'm typing here the first thing you are going to type here is n e t s h put space put win sock you can see something is been the win sock reset then press enter you can see something showing there then click on the next thing to click on is going to be net s h open space i n t i p put space reset open space again put another reset log dot t s t then click on enter so you can see something else. after clicking on everything is showing resetting okay okay you start the computer to complete this action so this is the final step so what you have to just do is just to come here reset your system and boom everybody will be everything will be working perfectly after the reset that is the solution if you take it to engineers a technician this is what they are going to do for you if your hardware is not having issue so with every step here after you try it any of it will work for you but if that's the case that any of it is not working for you you have to go to a, your your laptop brand website and start with the adapter install it there it's very tricky you need to be careful but on uh, this step i've talked about of you on installing the adapter has already covered that place so just do that and your system will be working perfectly so thank you very much for watching this video we are going to see in the next video about more and more tips on how to fix your stuff from home thanks for watching please subscribe and turn on your notifications